Namaste, welcome back. So today we have a notification from NIA Jaipur regarding PhD admissions 24-25 batch. So this video will be helpful for all those candidates, aspiring candidates. So most probably they are into teaching field right now or they, might, they are going to clear their final PG exams. So for all of them, this may be an interesting one or the necessary information. So kindly watch this video because in this video we are going to cover all the information related to the admission procedure, uh, what do you mean by dual degree and also the stipend as of now in NIA for PhD scholars. So first thing, first thing, you can see here the NIA is currently deemed university as most of you are already aware, which means the degree including all the rules and regulations will be the internal NIS decision. It won't be under any other university. So that is one uh, you can say positive thing for all these scholars because you can expect timely completion as well. So NIA is a part of the Ministry of Ayush, the central universities. So PhD admissions 24-25. The notification was available in the newspaper on 5th of this month, February. And in website, you have the detailed brochure on 7th, that is today. So what does the brochure say? Application submission last date, which is the most important information because most of the candidates postpone applying and ultimately regret because of lapse of time we have 45 days time now from 7th today till the march 22nd of next month you have time to apply so it's a lot of time and i don't think there is any uh, any more like delay it should happen because of this time you should apply today or tomorrow if you if you want to if you are confused whether to apply or not and if you have some other plans maybe you can wait another 15 20 days and you can apply so don't wait so long that the time just passes. So if there is any change regarding the dates, it will be notified. Now the procedure of admission will be as usual. The application test, uh, the form has to be submitted. It is the online mode. Then screening test will be there. There will be interview, result and ultimately admission. The screening test and interview. These are the two steps which you have to clear. So regarding application form, it is purely online. There won't be any acceptance of offline application. It is purely online. So it, the last time will be after 45 days. So exam fee will be except the two category and disabilities it is 3000 and for those specific category it is 2500. So it has become standard now in NIA exams. So exam fee payment will be through online mode only. Earlier it used to be through the uh, through you can say bank challenge and all. Nowadays it is online mode. Now the exam pay, uh, fee will not be refunded at any cost. That has to be kept in mind. So regarding number of seats, as usual, NIA has uh, given 28 seats for all departments, which means each department will have 2-2 two, two seats. So now interesting point is whether you are eligible to apply or not depends on the roster. So this is the roster. See, there are 2 seats in each department. There are 2 seats in each department. So you have to see which category do you fall. If you are from unreserved, you can apply for all the departments except I think Komar Brithe. Every department has unreserved category 1 seat. And even Komar Brithe has a foreign quota. So, if there is no foreign candidate, then that will be converted into unreserved. So, even in Komar Brithe, you can apply. But it's not sure whether you are going to get because if there is a foreign candidate application, then automatically you will, you will be rejected. So, but still, if you want to try, if you want to hope that there are no foreign candidates, you can apply. Otherwise, you are application fee may go in vain. So that is one important thing and you won't get to know till last minute you won't get to know whether there is a foreign application or not. So you can apply if you want but it's not guaranteed. But all other departments unreserved category 1-1 one, one seat is there so everybody can apply. Other than that there are one seat in each uh, individual category based on the roster. SC, ST, OBC you can see all those things in this screen. So if you are specific to that category so yes you can definitely apply. Now the interesting point is if there is an applicant from that particular quota, for example in Dravya Guna there is a quota in ST, one seat. If there is a ST candidate application available, imagine there is one applicant and that applicant did not qualify for interview, then what do you think the seat will happen? The seat will not be converted into unreserved, it will be kept vacant 
this is one unique you can say some different rule in nia usually it gets converted if there is no suitable candidate but here since three years it has been happening maybe you have to see this here the candidate if they apply for any seat from their quota if they are not eligible because of lack of marks qualifying marks we are going to see that later then the seat will remain vacant means nobody will get that seat so that has to that has to be kept in mind if there are no applications in that category then before exam only it will be converted into unreserved like in that example if there are zero applications in dravya guna from st category before exam only it will be converted into unreserved if there is an application it will not get converted even if the candidate does not qualify so this is one important information next regarding the test it is about 60 marks of your own subject 25 will be assessing your research and stats basic ability sometimes questions can be very high level or sometimes it is okay okay in this research one so i think concept subject will be the you can say best hope for you because research can be of like both the ways or even the uh, medium level questions but subject of course you should be aware to clear the exam ayush general knowledge 10 marks and general computer working 5 marks so this is in relation to entrance test is there any negative marking yes for each negative marking you are going to lose quarter mark one for right quarter for negation that is negative mark and the time you are going to get is 90 minutes if you don't answer there won't be any marking now interview only top 3 candidates from each category will be selected in that unreserved and st category if there are 3 3 candidates the first 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 they will be called for the interview so it is 1 is to 3 earlier it used to be 1 is to 5 but nowadays it is 1 is to 3 eligibility except sc and st it is about 50% in theory that 100 marks and it is about 45% in stsc so if when negative is there you have to be careful at least to qualify sometimes uh, the, there are no available students with eligibility sometimes you think you are not going to get marks but sometimes it happens you mark everything and everything goes wrong negative marking but sometimes you also get to know that nobody qualified so probably if you do not mar- mark most of them as wrong like the wrong answers probably you would have qualified so you have to be very careful while answering you have to assess the paper how many students can clear this if you think the question paper is tough then i think it is wise not to make too many mistakes by simply guessing because the negative marking will take your marks down to lower than the eligible one so it happens most of the times so of course i am not in a uh, position to tell you exactly but the usual notion i am telling you have to be careful so next regarding interview you will be asked to present a research proposal so which preferably you are going to take in phd you will be assist regarding your own research skills the basic knowledge of stats the analytical the uniqueness in the study and other things ultimately you will be assessed as a overall candidate out of the three and you are you are one of those three will be selected now the center for examination only one you have to come to jaipur for giving exam there are no online centers or any other center there is only one usually it will be on sunday so date is yet to be fixed so when the date is announced we will let you know right now there is no date uh, to tell you but sunday one sunday there will be exam and there are one more category of students the net qualified students from ccrs i think after 2018 no more exams happened if there are anyone left and if they want to apply then they don't have to give exam they don't have to take any exam like they can apply directly through the interview they will be given seat the seat for the net qualified students that is the jr net exams from ccrs that will be not from this 28 seats it will be extra so out of this 28 two are for foreigners 26 for indians so the foreign nationals also don't have to give exam they will be allotted seat through iccr iccr has its own criteria to choose the candidates so that is why they don't have to give any exam so duration of phd as per the recent in the sense almost 5 years back the notification of ugc says minimum 3 years should be for phd within 6 years you have to complete stipend will be given only for 3 years due to any reason if there is some delay extension you can go up, up to 6 years but ultimately the stipend is only given for 3 years this is important next admit card will be through online mode only you will be able to download this is the fee structure so the first row if you see the fee non refundable one i think that is what you need to see 
ஆல்மோஸ்ட் செவன்டி ஃபைவ் சிக்ஸ்டி டூ சிக்ஸ்டி டூ ஃபர்ஸ்ட் செகண்ட் தேர்ட் இயர் த கோஷன் மணி இஸ் ரீஃபண்டபிள் ஸோ ஐ திங்க் இட் கேன் பி இக்னோர்ட் நவ் பிகாஸ் இட்ஸ் நாட் அ லாஸ் ஃபார் யூ ஹாஸ்டல் இஃப் யூ ஆர் டேக்கிங் தட் இஸ் தி அமௌண்ட் அதர்வைஸ் யூ கேன் டேக் தி ரெண்டட் ரூம் அவுட் சைட் ஆர் தி குவார்டர்ஸ் ஆர் அவைலபிள் ஸோ தட் இஸ் லெஃப்ட் யூ இஃப் யூ வாண்ட் டு டேக் யூ கேன் சம்டைம்ஸ் இஃப் இட் இஸ் அவைலபிள் தே வில் பி கிவிங் யூ டிபெண்டிங் ஆன் தி நம்பர் ஆஃப் அப்ளிகேஷன்ஸ் நோ டுவெல் டிகிரி ஐ திங்க் மோஸ்ட் ஆஃப் தி கேண்டிடேட்ஸ் ஹூ ஆர் ஆஸ்கிங் மீ அபவுட் திஸ் பிஎஸ்டி ஆர் ஸ்பெசிஃபிகலி ஆஸ்கிங் அபவுட் திஸ் டுவெல் டிகிரி பிகாஸ் இன் தி ப்ரோஷர் இட் இஸ் கிவன் தட் ப்ரிஃபரபிளி டுவெல் டிகிரி பிஎஸ்டி அப்ளிகேஷன்ஸ் வில் பி கன்சிடர்ட் ஸோ வாட் டஸ் திஸ் டுவெல் டிகிரி மீன் டுவெல் டிகிரி மீன்ஸ் டூ டிகிரி ஜாயிண்ட் டிகிரி ப்ரோக்ராம் ஜேடிபி ஸோ இந்த திஸ் தெர் ஆர் டூ இன்ஸ்டிடியூட்ஸ் ஒன் இஸ் என்ஐஏ அதர் ஒன் இஸ் ஏசிஎஸ்ஐஆர் ஸோ இட்ஸ் அ பார்ட் ஆஃப் அகடமிக் சிஎஸ்ஐஆர் ஸோ வாட் இஸ் ஹேப்பனிங் இயர் இஸ் என்ஐஏ ஹஸ் டன் எம்ஓயு வித் தி ஏசிஎஸ்ஐஆர் நவ் தெர் ஆர் டூ இன்ஸ்டிடியூட்ஸ் ஒன் இஸ் ஹோம் இன்ஸ்டிடியூட் என்ஐஏ போஸ்ட் இன்ஸ்டிடியூட் விச் இஸ் ஏசிஎஸ்ஐஆர் யூ ஹாவ் டு சூஸ் அ ரிசர்ச் ப்ரோட்டோகால் சச் அ வே இன் சச் அ வே தட் தி ஸ்டடி ரிக்வயர்ஸ் என்ஐஏ யூ ரிக்வயர் அ கைட் ஃப்ரம் என்ஐஏ ஒர்க் ஹேஸ் டு பி டன் இன் என்ஐஏ at the same time you require guidance from acsir institute acsir has so many institutes out of them you have to choose a one, you choose one of them depending on your subject research topic depending on that you have to choose the place and the institute you will be allotted a guide there so within these three years only you have to complete the same research it's not like two different researches are happening at the same time no it's the same research but you require both nia and acsir you require two guides from each institute one is home other one is host and within 3 years you can complete this ultimately you'll be getting one degree from nia that is the usual phd degree one degree from acsir that is why it is called as dual program degree program joint degree program so here how many days you have to spend there depends on your work how much time you require to be there how much time you uh, you require the guidance from that particular guide there don't be any extra fees so regarding how much of any funding is available and all you will get to know later it to be cleared all these things once you are selected you can plan about that but this is what it means when they say dual degree program so it is nia and acsir so i think it is clear if you require any detailed information about this i'll be making another video otherwise i think this is sufficient so once you are joining after selection you can think about this then you may require in detail analysis so after entering the nia for 6 months you will be given you will be asked to attend classes regarding basic research and stats and at the end you will be asked to take an exam on research stats computer basics called as coursework examination so once you clear that you will be allotted or you will be allowed to start your research within next 1 1/2 years you have to complete this is about coursework examination now i think this is why most of you are watching this video the stipend as such the student will get the candidate will get 3 years stipend from nia as per the prevailing rules so for the current time that is from jan to june of 2024 what is the exact stipend we are going to see that initially you should know about the basic stipend if you have watched my previous videos regarding stipends of various institutes you will be knowing the technique how i am going about basic is the stipend which decides other allowances first second third bst scholar will get this much of basic now second and third year basic is the same there is no difference between stipend between second and third then what to be added with basic it has to be with dearness allowance called as da da is decided by central government every 6 months up to december 2023 da was 46% of the basic now from jan 2024 da is hiked 4% more so it is 50% of the basic so if you calculate 50% of the basic so you can see here for 5315 you will get 25157 and you can add that total stipend so total will be basic plus the da present da so from july up to the december there will be hike in da so there will be accordingly some in- increment so you can see this is how it is calculated so alt- ultimately and on average you can expect 75 and half for first year scholar almost touching 78 for second and third year scholar for the 6 months so ultimately it has to be calculated based on the da available and there are no allowances like tbi and varanasi bhu there are no allowances because there is no residency in nia residency is available in tbi as well as 
varanasi that is why they get all these allowances grade pa hra and pata that is why their uh, their stipend is called as salary and it goes up to 1.3 1.4 because of all these allowances so this is about the stipend it changes every 6 months now this is in relation to the phd regulation 24 25 and if you want to know how to fill the application form the online one you can click the link in the description and if you want to know anything else regarding this notification or in general any uh, information related to the nia or any other institute or any other career related information you can put it in the comment box we'll try to answer as early as possible if you have not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe so that you get timely you can say uh, the updates on various aspects related to ayurveda from all the angles you can say from academic to the research and even the ncsm and related bodies regulations so all things will be updated according to the notifications so thank you for watching this video kindly share it